Right, hello, ha hello again. Welcome back. Um, what I want to look at basically and to discuss with you is something called the 2357 and the 5357. Now, this is sitting gills 2357, sitting gills 5357. Electrical installation course. Now, as you all know, it's a four-year apprenticeship okay but for me having dealt with both the 2357 and 5357 I am a little dubious that some students may not have finished the 2357 and may have the outstanding part of their actual NVQ folder that is units 311 to 318 outstanding simply because some colleges may not have had the electrical assessors available to come out and see you on the job they may not have been able to fill in the relevant data in the worksheet or in your workbook and this is normally required for your evidence now let me just show you what I'm talking about okay That is what I'm talking about. The we just bring it, bring it up close. Okay, make sure that everybody could see it. Okay, sitting gills level three. That's what I call systems, and this was the, the two three five seven. Now this was the old version. So what I've done, I've tried to look at the old version two three five seven to the in and respect of the new version the five three five three five seven let me just bring it in close so you so you could see it for yourself okay five three five seven okay and that's what I'm hoping that we, we look at now what I've done is to make a comparison between the two and to see what elements is consistent. The interesting thing is that the elements in the 5357 basically relate to the 2357. Okay? And I look at this to make sure that, uh, okay? Tied together, make sure you can see it, okay. And the previous, okay. And these are what I'm going to want to be looking at because, sorry, let me just see if I can get this level straight up. Excuse me, okay. <laughs> right, yes, I think I'll just get it, get in it, it there. One second, let's just make sure we get it in screen, okay. Thank you, right. Excuse me, they look a bit odd, lopsided, I do apologize, okay, right, but what I want to look at is trying to get these two and to see what the difference were and if you could, how easy it should be to complete your element providing you have gathered your evidence in regards to the 2357, the old model, and the 5357 new, new model but I want to do this stage by stage so what I'm going to look at first is what was expected in the 2357 previously okay and what I have done to bring this about to make it more understood okay now So what, what, what I've done, I've looked at um, the contents and what I've done, I've looked at the 5357 and let me just bring this up to you closely if I can uh, and I've put in the numbers where which tallies with the old information in respect of the new. Okay. Let me just see if I can angle this so uh, we can get 
more light on it okay okay and you can see that links in. now what I've done is to simply try to identify which section links in with old now there may not be any need to do that but from the views that being carried out on my channel it would appear that some quite a number of electricians or apprentices has not completed the 2357 now if you're one of these people who has not completed the 2357 what you need to be doing is to be gathering evidence from your workplace especially if you haven't done the NVQ in regards to the 2357 now remember the work that you do in regards to gathering your evidence should also apply to the 5357 and what I'm going to try and do is to show you where those bits links into it okay now this can be done in one session because as you know it's a four-year course okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to try and do it pieces by pieces and only to look at the now remember that in the in the 2357 you would recall that we had the 301 the health and safety would, would be 301 but you can see that here that the one oh sorry let me just see if we can get this up make sure that it can be seen that the one, one or two would link into the old 311 okay but I want to do a bit of research as well myself because something here that puzzles me a little bit as well and I'm going to tell you what puzzles me is when I look into the 5357 I could not see any session for the 301, 302, 303 requirements But the 5357 links into the 311 to the 318. And that is the bit that you actually need. So you would have done for your NVQ folder, your on site folder, or your on site work, workbook, whatever you want to call it, would go from unit 311 in the 2357 to 318 plus your AM2 testing but what I want to do now is to look at how this has come about or what sitting has changed it to and I recall taking this in the 5357 so I'm going to look at the 5357 And I'm going to try and see how I can link it in to the 2357 so you, you basically hopefully know where you are. Now here we have the contents for the, let me just show you, the 53, sorry, 5357, okay. Let me make sure to show that you can see that, okay. And here is the contents for, for that. For the five three five seven. Okay. Now, interestingly, interestingly enough, this. Let me sure I can get it up to you. Get it to you, and then you can see. Interestingly enough, this seems to link into the three eleven. Let me make sure if I can get that to the three. Sorry, to the three eleven. So forth. Three one six, three one three, uh, three one two. Now the one one zero in the five three five seven is related to the three three two in the two three five seven. Okay. Uh, the one one three is related to three one seven, and the unit one one five 
is related to three unit 318 in the 2357. Okay, now, so I didn't make these numbers bigger, but um, I'm hoping that, that you can see them from the angle. Can I can I show them at a, a different angle? So you can bring it into a different angle. So you can see this for, for yourselves. Hopefully, yes, you can. Okay. On all I'm doing here, I'm just showing you that in regards to the old version, 2357, that the new version ties in with it in respect of these units. Okay. They may not tie in exactly because it's possible sitting girls normally take out some pieces or they put some pieces back. But the idea here is that those pieces become relevant. Okay. Now, we talk about expert witnesses, and what I want to make away is that if you can talk about an expert witness, then your expert witness is the person you're working with, your electrician guy that you're w working with. Now, remember, you are the apprentice, okay? So for an expert witness to confirm competence in the workplace, he she must be able to demonstrate the following criteria. Okay? And I'm looking at this from the perspective of the 5357. Okay? Current knowledge of industry, working practices and techniques. No conflict of interest in the outcome of their evidence. The designated expert witness should ordina ordinarily be your immediate work supervisor. And that should not be difficult because you are training, you are, you are, you are the apprentice. The interesting thing here is that, one, take many photographs, photograph evidence. Have your photograph evidence signed by your electrician associate or the guy you're work, 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 working with? Two, make sure that your job references. Now, when you're on a job, you give your 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 electrician would have a a job number. He would have a job. He will it will detail what the job is going to be. Get a copy of that. Okay. Make it your business to ask for a copy. Get that done. Now, that begins to build up your evidence with the photograph evidence and your gathering of information. So that you know the job, what materials that you're going to be using on the job, how the job is going to be carried out. So your first task is going to be what? Probably your initial fixings and determining where you're going to run your cables, whether it's going to be running conduit, trunking, or it's going to be pulled in in joist if you're working in, in a house. Okay. Now, the designated expert witness should not ordinarily be your immediate su work supervisor. It is recognized that over the lifetime of the qualification, you may be allocated more than one expert witness. So the ideal here is that it doesn't matter how many expert witnesses you're working with, you gather evidence from each one, if that change comes about. Okay. So each expert witness, whether you could have a new electrician because he might have got a better job somewhere and he's gone off to take up more money. So he might have been earn, earning 30,000 where he was and he might not have been offered 45, okay? So somewhere else. So taking that change into account is what will matter. And that is where you will need to get, make sure you've got evidence in respect of each person that you're dealing with or you wish to claim as your expert witness. That is essential. So here, and I'm not just going to talk, here is where you would expert witness name, expert witness signature, and the date, okay? And it tells you here, I confirm, etc., 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 whatever, okay? Now, I'm not going to read that through to you. I'm hoping that you can read it for yourself. So I'm going to see if I can get it, make sure that we get it in, in short. Okay.
that becomes your expert witness confirmation and it doesn't matter how many if you need another form you make a copy of this so you simply make a copy of, from, of this form okay and that's what we begin to look at doing now I'm going to be doing a number of videos on this okay but let me know what you think okay please uh, you have a reply uh, I like or dislike or can I see more on something or the other? Tell me a little bit about what you need to because each of you is going to be at a different stage and you need to bear that in mind. So my illustration has to be taken from, from a given point, from the point of view that no one is at any particular stage or you're all at the same stage. But if you're not, then begin to look to see what information we may need to deliver now remember that I will be working through this so I may well come across information that you will be requiring and may be presenting that information in due course so it's not a point of panicking or stressing over anything so let's look at that now obviously I'm going to always recap from what we did before that is essential okay because it, it allows me to keep in view what and where we're coming from okay I'm going to stop there for now of course I want to see how this goes through and I'm going to look at this 5357 because everybody's now doing the 5357 now remember that my 537 was the initial copy of the presented by sitting guild at that time okay and it may have changed somewhat okay so my, but I'm going to still retain the initial first copy and that's what I'm going to work from whether there are any changes then you can apply those changes to your version depending upon what you may need okay Now I'm just uh, making a little note from for myself. Okay, just to remind me where we are at, and where I need to start from, on our, on the next presentation. Okay, I'm going to stop there for now, and I'm going to upload this, and get back to me. Let me know how how it runs and what you think overall okay please do now and what I'm going to look at as well I'm going to for those of you who has who may not finish the 2357 it's important that you do and sitting guilds and some colleges has got a I believe that you can request to complete it based on information that you may already have but don't hold me to that because you will need to speak to the college at which you were doing your course to see what can be done okay okay just bear with me for a moment okay Now, as you know, I'm not too fussy about keeping a neat or presentable videos. So you you get my videos with all the faults and errors in it and so forth. That's life, okay? I'm not interested in producing a perfect video. Never. That's not relevant. If I was interested in doing that, then I would get somebody to be doing, to be me, okay? And nobody could be me because there's nobody as good looking as myself. Thank you guys. Have a good day and we talk soon. Bye bye.